so about the nutritional disorders mainly in your syllabus they are mentioning protein energy malnutrition there are two different types of malnutrition one is a deficiency of carbohydrate other can be the deficiency of protein and we will start with the what is malnutrition malnutrition basically result from poor diet or lack of food that is a person is not eating well he is not getting enough amount of food due to poverty that will result in malnutrition first the malnutrition first the deficiency of vitamins and protein then the deficiency of carbohydrate if it happens intake of nutrients and energy is too high too low or poorly poorly balanced so malnutrition means there are two situations in malnutrition one is under eating not eating enough amount of food so that is under eating second problem is over eating you are eating more than what is your required for example your height is 160 cm then your uh, normal weight requirement is 60 kg and if your weight is 80 kg then that is over over eating or uh, or uh, but it's all body we call as obesity so these problems are known as malnutrition the meaning of the word mal means disease so malnutrition means disease nutrition it can be low nutrition or all excess nutrition so malnutrition is a condition that result from eating a diet in which one or more nutrients are either not enough or too much if there is more amount of fat in your body that will lead to overweight if there is not enough amount of fat that can lead to leaning of your body weakening of your body and both are causes of health problem it may involve calories proteins carbohydrates vitamins as well as minerals so deficiency of any of these items any of these nutrients can lead to malnutrition so not having enough nutrient is known as undernutrition so there are two extremes are the one is undernutrition which means not having enough nutrients second is that overnutrition while too much of nutrients is known by the name overnutrition so malnutrition is often used specifically to refer to undernutrition so whenever we use the term malnutrition most of the time we are using uh, referring to the term undernutrition like uh, uh, people uh, people who are facing extreme poverty sometimes that kind of situations are present in many parts of india now india is growing fast and malnutrition or undernutrition is not uh, not a major problem still a large uh, percentage of our people are actually going below poverty line but in kerala situation is slightly better so malnutrition is often used specifically to, to refer to undernutrition where individual is not getting enough calories or proteins or micronutrients which means vitamins or minerals if undernutrition occurs during pregnancy or before 2 years of age that is a big problem it can result in permanent problems with the physical and mental development that means if a mother during her pregnancy is not uh, not getting enough amount of food or other vitamins or uh, protein that can affect the uh, physical development physical as well as mental development of the child and that sometimes is the brain or the, the development of neurons have not taken place properly that will result in a permanent problem or permanent damage to brain undernutrition is often due to uh, not uh, no is due to not enough high quality food available to eat the problem is that the person may be for example in in the, in the families in kerala families we are eating enough amount of rice rice only give you carbohydrate so when a person is taking rice only the person may look fat or obese but still the person may be undernourished the problem is that eating rice will give you carbohydrate and carbohydrate will be be converted into fat but eating rice alone not up supplementing it with the enough amount of fish or vegetables then the problem is there will be deficiency of vitamins there will be deficiency of minerals so that situation is also undernourishment 
This is often related to high food prices or poverty. Then lack of breastfeeding may contribute as, uh, as may a number of infectious diseases like gastroenteritis. Gastroenteritis means uh, uh, normally diarrhea or dysentery. That kind of disease are called gastroenteritis. Then lung infection called pneumonia. Then malaria and measles. These are all... <coughs> Uh, this car can also, all disease can develop as a result of undernutrition. Then there are two main situations of protein energy malnutrition. What is protein energy malnutrition? Deficiency of protein. In the not having enough amount of protein. Basically we have two kinds of disease or disorders. One is marasmus. In this of marasmus, there is deficiency of protein as well as calorie. Then in the second case, the person may not be uh, may not be lean or weak. She he or she may be eating well, but there may not be any uh, any uh, any intake of protein. If there is no protein intake, that will lead to a second disease known by the name Cauchy-Orca. Now, <clears throat> yeah, the common micronutrient deficiencies include. Lack of iron. Lack of iron can lead to anemia. Lack of iodine. That can lead to goiter. So person may be healthy, but at the same time there will be goiter. And there is a lack of vitamin A. If there is no lack of vitamin A, that will be affecting the uh, vision. For example, vitamin A will be leading to night blindness. The, 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 the children cannot read properly on the board. So these kind of problems will be there. So during pregnancy, the body's needs, body needs, uh, body's increase in need and deficiency may become more common. So that is when a person is normally uh, not very healthy, during the time of pregnancy, that health problems can become more, uh, more severe. So that is the one important thing, that is the person, even during her normal life, she is not healthy. When she becomes pregnant, her nutritional needs are increased and that health problems become more severe if she is not eating well during the time of pregnancy. In some developing countries, overnutrition in the form of obesity is beginning to present within the same communities as undernutrition. That is, uh, now if you go to uh, uh, certain African countries, you can see, you can still see that there is extreme form of uh, poverty there uh, and there is shortage of water, there is especially pure clean drinking water. This can all, call, all be present in the same type of community. Other causes of malnutrition include anorexia nervosa and bariatric surgery. Anorexia nervosa means uh, that is a situation in the child, the person thinks that I am too fat. Then what happens is that he or she stops eating, not eating well and become slowly become lean or very weak or very thin. That kind of a psychological situation, situation in which the, even if uh, becoming very thin, they are still stopping eating. So that situation is known as anorexia nervosa and bariatric surgery is also a kind. There will, there will be a uh, Cutting uh, the, the connection from stomach to the intestine uh, the, uh, so that the nutrients may not be very properly assimilated. In that situation also the person, the person may be eating well but her nutrients are not absorbed into the body. That situation is, uh, is caused by bariatric surgery. Now we will come to the protein energy malnutrition. <coughs> This is often con considered as a deficiency of protein and, and there are two main situations. One is Cauchy-Orca, second is Marasmus about which we have to study in detail. Cauchy-Orca is mainly caused by inadequate intake of protein. The main symptoms are here, I will show you the Cauchy-Orca and Marasmus. This is the Cauchy-Orca, this is the Marasmus. In this so Marasmus, what is the difference is that the person is not getting any kind of food both carbohydrate and protein. But in the first case, the person is eating some amount of food, but there is deficiency of protein. So what are the situation? One is scaly skin. See, the here you can, you can white patches on the skin. Then abdomen will be distended. 
and this is the here you can see the abdomen is not distended it is a balloon like or so swollen or a bulged abdomen then soul swelling on the legs that swelling on the legs is caused by uh, presence of uh, tissue fluid there so these are some of the major symptoms of coursiorker so here in the region so the one is edema edema means swelling edema i mean swelling wasting wasting become become quite weak quite thin that is a wasting liver enlargement that is another problem hypoalbuminemia that is in your blood there is a kind of protein called albumin deficiency of or lack of albumin in the blood is known as hypoalbuminemia then steatosis steatosis is also related with the fat then the deep pigmentation of the skin here you can see that this is a deep pigmentation or scaly skin these are all symptoms of coursiorker then coursiorker is further identified by swelling of the belly so this is one characteristic feature this distended abdomen or swelling of the belly is a characteristic symptom of the coursiorker then next next symptom is that coursiorker is actually uh, the, the term developed from ghana language in the case of ghana language the sickness the older child gets when the next baby is born that is uh, normally this problem is uh, coming in children when the mother is having for example mother is having one child and he or she may be only one year or one and a half year old and mother again get uh, having a second baby normally what happens is that the first baby may not be getting enough milk the second baby will be having milk most of the milk and that then what will happen is that the first baby will be uh, getting a deficiency of protein at the same time other other uh, kind of carbohydrate may be getting then this kind of problem is having so that is why uh, the, the, the the always uh, the uh, uh, doctors advise you to uh, have a some amount of gap between first baby and second baby at least two or three years should be there and as when the older child is deprived of breast feeding and weaned or uh, adopting a diet largely composed of carbohydrate that means the second child will be eating they will be eating some solid food but at the same time the second child is not getting enough amount of protein then this problem will be developing so coursiorka in the use of coursiorka child is getting carbohydrate but child is not getting protein that is the problem of uh, coursiorka then next case is the use of marasmus in this of marasmus it is inadequate intake of both protein as well as carbohydrate then the child will be looking like this they are not getting anything any food no food at all that situation is known as uh, leading to marasmus here you can see that there is a loss of body hair here that the, the body hair will be present old person's face the child will be looking like an old person wrinkled skin extreme uh, extreme thinning or wasting of the body severe muscle wasting there there may not be any muscle uh, mass on the legs or arms these are some of the symptoms of marasmus now uh, in this of marasmus the main symptoms are severe wasting level uh, little or no edema here you can see that there will be edema swelling on the legs as well as on the abdomen this swelling is a characteristic feature of coursiorka but here there is no swelling then uh, uh, then marasmus can result from a sustained diet of inadequate energy and protein and the metabolism adapts to prolong uh, to prolong survival so it is traditionally seen in famine famine means um, uh, you no know, uh, no what is called famine uh, there is a, uh, a situation in which people are not able to get any kind of food that situation is on a famine then significant food restriction sometimes uh, in due to certain situation that people are not uh, get what during war sometimes their people may not be getting any kind of food or more severe cases of anorexia anorexia is a psychological disorder in which person is not eating well in that situation also 
this marasmus can uh, uh, offer. So the main difference between marasmus and Cauchy-Urker uh, is marasmus is caused due to lack of both carbohydrate and protein. Whereas in this cauchy it is caused due to deficiency of protein alone. So this is the difference between cauchy and marasmus. So we can stop here.